Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jen here. Today I'm sharing with you a couple easy, fast, and cheap DIYs that I made, and I absolutely love the way that they turned out. So if you want to see how they came together, then just keep watching. And here is the first simple DIY. Simply start with a hot glue gun and a couple sets of these dish towels from the Target Dollar Spot, which are $3 for a set of two. And here I'm just cutting them apart and picking which dish towels I want to start with first. I saw a pillow. I actually purchased a pillow from the Target Dollar Spot that had these same blue stripes on them and said Hello Fall, but it was like um, a little thicker wording than the dish towel. That's actually what made me think of it when I was standing in the Target Dollar Spot. They only had one of those little pillows. And then when I looked at the dish towels, they looked essentially the same. And I thought, oh, I'll just make my own. I already have old pillows that I'm not using that I just pull the stuffing out of. You'll see here in just a couple minutes. But here I'm just, I folded it really even and I'm starting on the one side. I have it flipped inside out and I am just gluing right down the edges. And I'll do both sides and then I will flip it inside out and then stuff it and then glue the outside. And here I'm gluing just part of the front here. That way it will just have the middle of it open to stuff it with. But that's really optional. You can flip it inside out and then stuff it and then glue all of the edge. Or you can glue a little bit on each side and just leave the, leave the middle open so that you can stuff it. And then just have that little spot to glue once you're done stuffing it. Down the rabbit hole again And as I fall I can feel the pain Tell me where to go So I don't know I just go with the flow I go with the flow I'm falling up I'm falling down From the sky and from the ground Up above just like below And I don't know where I should go Cause I'm stuck in limbo. Cause I'm stuck in limbo. 
For the next DIY, the little pedestal tray, I got this little like plaque wooden piece from Hobby Lobby for like $1.99 and these four little wooden candlesticks from Hobby Lobby. They were like $3.99 I think and I used a coupon so they were just a couple bucks. So this is super cheap and then if I had wood glue on hand but if you even if you have to buy it, it's not that expensive. So just space them out the legs where you want them on the bottom and stick a little wood glue on there. And then I use clamps to hold them down until they dried. But if you don't have clamps to do that, you can just flip it over or just put like a heavy book on top of them. Make sure that they don't move and then put like some heavy stuff on top of them and let them dry for a little while just so that they seal really good together and that you don't have one of your legs pop off as soon as you put something on there. You could make these pedestal trays more sturdy and secure with a nail gun, which I actually will have a video coming soon for one of those. But this is for people that do not have access to a nail gun or just don't want to go through that whole process and just want something simple and easy. The wood glue is absolutely awesome and will give it a good hold. So... Once that dries and sets up, then you can start the painting process. I chose to use white chalk paint, but if you want to stain it, you can, or just whatever suits you. I did the Waverly um, white, or it's actually plaster is the color. I got it from Walmart, and I just painted all of it white, and then I let that dry, and then you'll see here in a minute, I used the brown antiquing wax with a paintbrush, and I just kind of distress it a little.
finished product guys I absolutely love the way that these turned out they were super easy to make I would definitely give them a try if I was you and if you do definitely let me know leave me a comment down below and if you like videos like this definitely leave me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that I have coming and I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one bye <laughs>